Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to take on Team Bardock Super Battle Road. Um, and we have a huge advantage on Global that JP didn't have, and that is physical LR Bardock has a ZZA. So uh, we're going to jump in and see how much he is going to absolutely dominate this, because this fight is tuned to a full free-to-play team, not an LR EZA, a summonable LR EZA, by the way. So... Um, people were asking me, like, what's the easiest stage to do your 10 unit grind on or your 10 stage grind on to get the last LR? Um, this is one that initially going into it, now I haven't tried it yet, so I have no idea, but this is one that I was thinking might be an option if LR Bardock dominates enough. Um, but I'm going to tell you right now, I just did Inhuman Deeds with an LR Namek Frieza team, and that just dominated. It was crazy. Um, by the way, since we're getting so many attacks here, I'm just going to Ghost Usher right away. I have no idea how hard we're going to get hit. I'm just going to go ahead and take some type advantage swipes at the enemy here. And just kind of see what we can do here. I'm Being that they're 5 units and this is tuned to free to play, they should go down fairly. They should be very low health. Like this 1.5 mil attack stat should be like very intimidating to them. Even though it's a very poor attack stat. But oh yeah, that was like half his health. And then we got the additional. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing LR Bardock is going to instantly, like, one-shot anything he touches in here. I would assume so, right? Uh, I kind of wish I would have just attacked that same guy again to get him out of here, but that's okay. I might just, like, next turn with no items, just let LR Bardock tank and see what he does. But yeah, these, like, under 1 mil attack stats are actually doing quite a bit of damage to them. And we got a stun, so that's good. Triple super from this guy. Okay, Borgo's showing up. Get, getting the double stun, okay. Anytime you can stun in here, that's definitely prime, right? Okay. Um, so I'm going to try without items, just out of curiosity. Let LR Bardock go to town here. So Bardock is going to swing at the int unit. And we are going to get the 18 key, which is good. And then the LR friend, we're going to swing at the tech unit. And then we're going to go ahead and have the Bardock on the end here swing. Actually, Bardock on the end, we're going to swing at the AGL unit because I'm pretty sure he can seal. And I don't want to take a super type advantage there at the end. Okay. Okay, so double digits. This is without an item on Super Battle Road. Um, and then a 5 mil attack stat. I'm fairly certain that these units aren't built to take a 5 mil attack stat. So he should be absolutely incinerated out of here. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think this is going to one-shot too. I don't even know who he's attacking, but this will probably one-shot as well. Yeah, yep, yep. So this is what I'm talking about. LR Bardock, if he just takes control here and dominates, if this, the thing for me that's going to determine um, whether I'm going to run this for my 10 or not, it's going to be more about speed than difficulty. Um, so my uh, Inhuman Deeds run was like about an eight-minute run. It was very quick. That was eight-minute recorded time with while doing a video, while recording for a video. So if I'm just sitting here like not recording, it's probably even way faster than that if I'm just playing the game and not recording, which I won't be, right? Okay, so we got one little guy left. Um, sure, and I've I've got this uh, AGL uh, Grade 8 Bardock EZA to throw around, which is another unit that this you know stage wasn't tuned for. It was literally tuned for just the free-to-play set with the Int LR. Yeah, like this guy hitting 1.5 mil is actually very impressive in here. Just because he's like a free-to-play EZA unit. Yeah, he's like outputting like what this LR is right here. So yeah, I think we're going to be good here. The fact that I was taking double-digit normals without an item tells me that they're probably not going to hit very hard. Which makes sense because that's this... You can't have this too overtuned because these units are very weak that you're supposed to be running with. That was a 70k normal there. That one stung. That was type disadvantage from us though. Alright, well that first round went pretty smooth. And then we're going to start off with an LR Bardock here. Uh, if this is only a 1 or a 2 unit fight he might just one shot. He could take them both out. Uh, okay, Dodoria is going to be a problem because he's STR. Okay. Well, I'm going to play it safe here guys. Let's just do sure, Whis. Let's do Whis. Because Bardock, I mean, I know the I know the stage isn't built for 183k defense, so I'm sure Bardock would have been fine without an item, but I still don't want to take that risk. All right, we're definitely going to try to take out Zarbon here. We'll see if Zarbon is just instantly incinerated or not. Um, and then we're definitely going to go for the stun on Dodoria. I think Zarbon's going to be out of here anyways. Let's see, though. All right, good thing I used an item. Yeah, 65k with an item, it was probably good I used it. Alright, 5.2 mil. 
Let's see how Zarbon handles this 5.2 mil attack stat. Can Zarbon survive? Oh, he actually really survived. Wow, tanky boy. Okay. Zarbon is a tanky boy. So this is just meant to be a real slow grind if you're using just the free-to-play Bardock team? Wow, okay. All right, give me a stun here. We got a stun, uh, good old Dodoria. No stun, okay. All right, give me a stun here. If not, triple super and give me one on the third. Stun! Oh, triple? We got the triple, but no super. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I guess the item was a good call there because, yeah, look at, our, look at our health here. Okay. So we still have Whis active here. Um... Jeez, I don't even know who I want to play here in slot one. Um, sure. Well, Princess Snake seems like a good time to do that. I still have the other item active, so now that should ensure our damage here. Zarbon is sealed. So we're really only worrying about Dodoria here for super attacking. Dodoria, Dodoria. And then we'll have Strength Bardock swing at Zarbon. Sure. Okay. Uh, well, because LR Bardock didn't just like instantly incinerate this rotation, I'm I'm leaning towards my Inhuman Deeds team, I'm thinking, just because that, you have two LR Namek Freezes in there, right? And it's Inhuman Deeds, so they're expecting you to run the Nappa leader, which is only a 130 lead. Well, you run in there with the LR Namek Freeze, a 170 lead. You got two of them, so you have one on each rotation. He's basically one-shotting everything, and he's guaranteed double supering most of the time. And he's taking out multiple units per turn. Like, he just annihilates that thing. He carries. And then um, you can run Tech and AGL Golden Frieza to just be instant walls and you can't get hit. <laughs> so, yeah, that run was very, very smooth. Um, that run is on my channel if you want to check it out. Um, okay. <clears throat> All right, Bardock. Let's... Well, Bardock... Okay. Zarbon is sealed. So do I attack to Doria and get the seal? No, I got to go after Zarbon. I got to take advantage of the beefy attack stat here. And then we're going to have the Int Bardock maybe swing at the Doria. I think I'm going to chance this turn without an item and just see what happens here. Since I know Zarbon is sealed up. Okay, yep, double digits from him. Six mil. This, please crit and just take out Zarbon and then give me an additional and then crit to Doria. I would take that. Come on, you got to finish him off. Yeah, okay. All right, we did not get the additional, though, but we got Zarbon out of here, so now we just got to worry about this Dodoria. Darn it, if I would known he was going to crit, I would have taken out Dodoria. Because Tora here is not, like, a defensive unit by any means, right? Don't super, don't... 70k normals! Oh, my gosh! We would have died there. I took a huge risk. Wow, okay, okay. That would have been a little embarrassing. Um... Okay, what do we do here? I guess we got to float the LR off. I think we kind of do because I need to get these super attacks off. Hopefully we get a seal here. Now this is definitely a turn I could risk it, but we're just going to use a Princess Snake. I'm not going to play around here. Um, it's my first attempt. I just want to get it done. If I want to do a challenge no item run later, then I'll do that. But yeah, let's just go ahead and swing away here. Okay, this will finish them. Most likely we'll finish them off. All right, perfect. And we got the Stunner Runeski anyways. All right, so... All right, final wave here. I do like that we're entering with LR Bardock. Um, I'm pretty sure LR Bardock does some things against the Wicked Bloodline. I think it's like... What is it? Is it Guaranteed Crit? Oh, he's got a bunch of key. That's right, he gets that fat attack buff. Yeah, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. This last phase might be cake here. Um... Yeah, he's facing a Frieza. So he's got an additional 12 key and attack 100%. Oh my gosh, he's going to blast Frieza out of here. All right, all right. Um, let's just... Uh, sure, let's just Ghost Usher. Sure, let's just Ghost Usher. Play it safe. Just guarantee we don't take damage here. Um, he's got full 24, so I don't even have to grab that fat stack. We'll get the fat stack with the Int Bardock. Um... It, the question is, is is he just going to one-shot this Frieza? 7.7 .7 mil. This Bardock is like instant win. Let's see how much damage. I mean, he's only one unit, so he should be pretty tanky, right? Okay, we got like a good quart of his health, and he's sealed up now. <laughs> and now we can probably just keep him seal locked, and we're probably not going to have to worry about dying, right? With only one unit here. 
Yeah, I think we're just going to keep them seal locked up here. Another seal. Plus, Borgos might decide to throw a stun down. Alright, so we've got the seal. We're just going to Whis just to make sure our damage is okay. Um, sure, let's go for the stun right away with Borgos. Um, Tektora probably could have brought something better. He, I mean, he supports, which is good, but he defensively is not, not there. Um, all right. Can we just get a stun here? Nope. Additional? No additional. Okay. I see how it is, Borgos. Plain, plain difficult over here. Yeah, I definitely needed the Whis here. We're still taking decent damage from normals. Okay. Okay. I kind of don't want Freeze of the Super. I'm kind of afraid. We're taking a little bit of damage here, even with the Whis on. Jeez. Tor's got type advantage, so I feel a little bit better about that. Oh, his defense, though. Still taking 10k normals. All right. Um, so physical Bardock, not going to lie, is going to look pretty good here. Because we've got double 60% supports. We've got 18 key super coming. Um, we're going to put an Icarus on top of the Whis. Uh, I think we got this, guys. I think Freeze is out right here. Um, this is going to be... Oh, and the Dokkan attack on top of it? Yeah, I think Freeze is out of here. This is going to be a really fat attack stat. Double 60% supports. What do we got, Bardock? Oh, casual 7 mil. Sure. We'll take the 7 mil attack stat. A little bit lower than last turn, but that's because we don't have that 100% passive for facing Frieza, right? They just give you that for like turn 1 be like, alright, go dominate this Frieza. Um, I'm going to say this. I do not want to go through whatever the JP players had to go through to run this without this guy. Because this would have been a pain in the butt. But boy, LR Bardock did make that very easy. Um, we got to the Doki. That was a fairly quick run too, so like... In terms of, like, if you have this LR Bardock, it's a very, other than him, it's a very free-to-play friendly option to get your 10 stages done. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll catch you all in the next one.